Good afternoon, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about problem number three of USACO 2023 contest, the platinum medal. We did not do the class last week, last weekend, because it was a holiday and everybody was watching the uh, playoffs. Um, so let's do this problem. Um, so let's see. This is train schedule. First thing, look at it. Memory limit is twice the default. What does that tell you? It's tell you you probably need to use a bigger array, right? So um, we see those problems multiple times. It's actually a very obvious hint. And also tell you potentially it's going to be a DP or a persistent segment tree, something like that. Or small to large merge of on a tree with bigger race. So Bessie has taken a job at train dispatcher. There's two trans two train stations, A and B, right? And then you have a bunch of trains at location A and a bunch of trains at the location B. Right. So then it will take time of T to travel from one side to another side. Okay, it doesn't really matter which direction, the time is T for every train. So you can send trains from either direction, right? Some of the trains are here, some of the trains are here. But if you send a train here, you know, when this train, for example, reached here, you can send another train, right? But you can't, it's a single track, you can't send another train here, <laughs> they will collide with each other. So each train is supposed to leave the train station at time ti, um, or if you don't leave at the time ti, then you will have a delay. The question is, what's the schedule so that you have minimum delay, right? So for example, if you look at the first case, if you have one train at station B and then you want to leave at the, um, Time 63, you can just send the train from B, right? The second example is you have train at B, you want to leave at you know second hour, third hour. You have train at A, you want to do first hour and third hour. So you can have, and the time takes is one, one, right? So you can take the first train, train one and send it across, which only take one hour. So you get it to train two, then you send the train two, then you send the train three, right? When you send train three is the fourth hour, you reach here. So this train is supposed to leave at the third hour, then you send it, its delay is one hour, right? Delay is one hour. Then you can have many other complicated schedules. Okay, so let's see how do we solve this problem. We need to describe the states, right, of you know what happened. So let's describe something like this, right? So obviously we want to know what time it is. At that time, we need to know which side, you know, for example, let's say A is side zero, B is side one, okay? Which side it is. At this side, let's say it's how many train already left. And then on the other side, you know, at the other side, how many train already left. Okay, so that's my state, right? So if I have this, then what I can do is if this is my state, right? Then I have two options. I can add state S, I can send another train, right? So that is, that state become, the um, time will be, you know, the next train, right? You know. Let's say A plus one string, what would be the time? 
for that train at at site S, you know, when is the time that train will leave, right? It, it, that gives you, right? If you look at the here, it tells you, for example, the second train, oh, this one actually draw is wrong, but anyway, for example, I track the train at site A, site A is supposed to leave at the third hour, right? Um, so that is a state. Um, then it's the same site, and the train, you're sending one more train, and the other side, you did not send train. But if I stay at the S side, or well, the other way is, what if I just shift? Okay, if I, if I just move to the other side, the time is I have to wait for this train to reach the other side, right? Which is the original T plus this big T, right? It takes this time. So my side will be the other side now, right? The other side has so many train left and the, the opposite side is so many train left, right? Because we're moving from side S to S prime and this parameter describes how many train left at this side, right? So that would be my transition, okay? So that's pretty straightforward. Obviously, the problem is I have O n of four, right? Complexity. Uh, that doesn't work. So um, I need to simplify this. Okay. If you look at this problem a little bit more, I actually don't have to keep the the time, because if you look at this time, is the time at the site S when the train, the A plus one train left. This is can already be defined by this status. It's not a fix. It's not a independent parameter. Right, same for here. It's just incremented by t. So it's not a, a independent parameter, right? So we can do this. So the on this side, this is what I can do. On this side, if we do this transition, okay, if we do this transition, on this side, I can just use the status of S, A plus one, B that can already describe my state. Okay, the question is how do I de describe this? So then we, we have to describe, right, between site S and S prime, you could send the train once or you can switch side twice or you can switch side third times or you can switch side four times until you are not, you know, you're rather trying to switch. So we have to describe all of those state, right? So it's basically, if you stay on the same side, it's this. If you stay on the other side, so then basically you have to describe how many times you want to switch, right? From one times to maximum, I mean, you're going to do maximum going to do n times. You're likely to stop before that, right? So it's, you can send all the trains. What could happen is you can send all the trains from this side, you know, that is, um, if you think about the, the before this uh, train A, okay? Before this train, I think about the train a minus one train, okay? When it goes to the other side, right? Take T time. Before that T time, think about it. If you send all the trains, that is before that time, um, and send it forward, right? Send all the trains, then you switch, right? Then you switch to that side, okay? Then from here, then you do the same thing. Send all the trains that you can send, 
then you switch side, then you do the same thing. You do it k times, so maximum of n times, right? So now the complexity is it give you your um, n2 state, right? And every, then you have n switches. So that give you O um, cube. So that is, look at our, um, our n is 5,000. So um, n cube is still not good enough, right? So you, you have to do it as n squared. So how do we do n squared? If you look at this problem one more time, it actually, if you look at it, when you do this, okay, it actually does not depend, if you think about it, when I sending this train, I said from here, right? I will send all those trains that I have here to other side. At the time is a minus one train plus T. This actually independent of how many train you have here. It does not matter if it's B1 or B2. Then, then when you switch to this side, the state becomes S prime, B, and A something, right? And then you start sending those trains. It only depends on B minus one's trains time plus T. Then you send all the remaining train. It doesn't depend on how many train you actually have here. So I for every A, B state, you actually, you don't have to do this X from one to M for every A, B state. You just need to do it once. So if you pre-calculate something, let's say, you know, DP2, which only depends on which side you're on, at this side, how many train of this sent? Then you calculate for this, you do this calculation, do it once, do it twice, do it three times, you know, you calculate X times. You only need to calculate this once, okay? Once you calculate this once, then for this above DP, right? For above the original DP, SAB, the transition for this, you already pre-calculated, right? You already pre-calculated. This is my DP2 of SA, right? You already calculated. So, so you don't, so it becomes n squared, um, right? So this become uh, n squared. I mean, just like a search there, probably there's a log n, um, you know, we will implement it. So probably going to be a log n for the, because you have the search. Um, so that should be sufficient for 5,000. And uh, the size, as I mentioned earlier, we need a big enough size, 512, so that can solve it. So that is uh, pretty, I don't want to say straightforward, this is a step-by-step -step DP issue, right? The first thing we figured out is we can do this, use the full state to describe. Then we figured out that this thing is not an independent parameter. So we can do n, n cube, right? Then we will implement the n cube equation, I mean code. Then we figured out actually it, this thing can be pre-calculated. If you can pre-calculate this, then it becomes n square n. So that's a solution to the problem. And then for this weekend, besides the football playoff, please code this, right? 
Then the next competition is going to be on January 26. Remember, um, when you participate in the pattern contest, um, you need to start at 12 noon. Uh, it's the standard time, right? So we had one student who started at 12 noon Pacific time. Um, so then he did not catch the correct schedule, right? It has to be 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Okay. So code this up and the review again, go back, review the Yuseko guide algorithms and uh, good luck next week. And the Go Niners, obviously. <laughs>